Did you have a professional hair person on this set? time? I did not, but I like it better not having them because I always I like mine better. I don't like what they do. They do colors. They I would flatten never your hair. They flatten your hair. They, There's no excitement. And they make my to... eyes really dark, like circles, dark circles. I don't know what <laughs> they tell me. I look like I haven't slept in a week. I Well, you know, everybody knows how to do their own makeup really well. I would love to have somebody do it really well, but I just, they're either going to make you look like a clown, like too much, or the, it's usually not enough. Okay, maybe. so that's what happened to me. They, Fox, Fo when Fox did the pilot for the Dr. Gilda show, they hired a uh, makeup artist who I had worked with before. Mm -hmm. And this makeup artist had been on CNN, which did the most gorgeous makeup, mm -hmm. except they put on makeup that was much too heavy yeah. for, for anything. But this guy had a very heavy hand. And I said, why didn't you ask me? Of course, they don't ask the talent. They mm -hmm. just go ahead and they, and the Hollywood moguls found these people to, uh, to hire. So they hired this guy and he made me look like Lady Astor's pet horse. <laughs> it was so like. Hear that? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> that it was so atrocious that the Hollywood moguls went insane when they saw me made up that way. And they said, we are going to have to reshoot the entire, the entire show because we cannot put her on she has to play to the Midwest. She looks like Morticia. It was terrible. It was so- you have any pictures of that? I want to see that if you ever get it, because I'd like to see what they did. I do not have pictures of those, mm -hmm. of, of that of that whole thing. I don't even have pictures of the pilot anymore. Got rid oh, of everything. That's too bad. Yeah. I, I would like to, there's some old footage of me on a local television show, uh, 1970s. Uh, <laughs> as a kid, you know? and. I always would love to have seen that, you know, you wonder where all this old stock footage of stuff. I don't is. know where any of that stuff is. Now. I know I deliberately threw out the videotapes. Uh -huh. Today, I don't even have an anything to play the videotapes on, but yeah. I'm sure I could find one in a Goodwill or something somewhere. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but no, I got rid of everything. I said, what do I need this for? But I think uh -huh. looking back, it's kind of fun to see yeah. how you how yeah. you made up and how you dressed and how your hair was and whatever. I, I think it's kind of fun, but I wasn't in, I, my mindset wasn't into looking back and finding yeah. fun. It's fun. Yeah, it is weird. You know, I was on a commercial. I don't know if I ever told you they had me do a commercial for the, um, it was a university out of California. Oh, yeah, you told me that. <laughs> and I did such a horrible job on this thing. It was just not, I don't know why I was young and I just was like nervous or something. I, I would love to see that, how bad it was just to, to watch. In comparison you know? to how you are now, sure. Well, I wouldn't was... care now at all, you know, but when you're young and you're just like, yeah, I, I, you want me to do what? And they make me do this commercial and say some goofy thing, you know? <laughs> And I remember seeing it. it used to go across banners sometimes at the top of, of computers, you know, when you'd be on it, I'm like, and all of a sudden you'd see yourself go by. <laughs> But I haven't seen it in a long time, and I, I would I um, have to see that. I don't think it's out there. I don't know where it is, but I know they're making a commercial for this one that I just made. Um, but most of the stuff they make now is for YouTube, and you know I don't know where those things go. I don't. You never know where anything airs anymore. I know. I know. It's it's. They don't tell you. It's yeah. It's, it's, I've been in elevators. I've been in cabs. I've been on airlines. Weird places. I was I, on the Jumbotron. Oh, that would be Times cool. Square. <laughs> I don't think I've been on there. I was supposed to be. Remember that one book publisher who wanted to put me up on there? Oh, yes. Like, I'm like, more, yeah, I don't think so. More lies and, oh, yeah, this is what we're going to do for you kind of thing. Yeah. I was like, yeah, hey, yeah that's no. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of different things that uh, I, I, you know, every time you go to one of these shoot sessions and things, it's just different every single time. I'm trying to think last year or two, I've been to New York four different times for just video shoots, you know, which, you know, isn't that many times, but just those four times, it was so different every single time. Every I mean, single time. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. And yeah. the characters will be different and the directors will be different and the requests for what they want from you will be different. Yeah. I was 
I was being in, I was being interviewed by one of the magazine shows. Uh, I won't even mention the name. And the guy wanted me to tell him something about whether I had worked, whether I had done therapy on this famous star because she went ahead and told the world that I was her therapist. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't tell anybody who I work with. Mm -hmm. And he brought me down to the studio and he said, I I said, I told you there is no story here. I should have said, I'm not coming down, but Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. And I said, there's no story here. And I cannot tell you who I, who I work with and who I do not. This is all private. And um, I wouldn't have much of a business left if I told you this. I mean, these were all well-known people. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, why don't you just blink your eyes? (laughs) (laughs) What were we playing? Uh, Code? I mean, what, what silliness was this? He said, just blink your eyes and I'll be able to use that footage. Well, P.S. I left. There was no footage because there was no story there. Um, That's funny. That's I know it's crazy stuff. <laughs> but they watch every single thing you do. Oh, yeah. You have to be really <clears throat> on top of your game. And therefore, the takeaway for this is that any time you are on a show of any kind and it's not your show, and you have no idea even, well, you should in advance, you should know what the background looks like. But if it is, and we're talking live shows, this is not Zoom calls. Mm -hmm. But if you are on a show, take with you several different tops. The bottoms, you know, I I could always get away with the same black skirt or same black pants. Mm -hmm. That was never a problem, yeah. but it was always a problem when they had a shoot at different angles and and these fabrics would bleed into the camera and or earrings would be too noisy <laughs> and, I mean, or, or something. Well, uh-huh. this I know in advance and I purposely put them on today. Those would drive me crazy just wearing them. Those You probably don't hear them after a while though, huh? They're cute though. <laughs> this is a fun thing they are fun i love them i love fun. but don't they drive you crazy the sound no, no and they're light too yeah <laughs> what what drives me crazy are these heavy ones yeah. and then i'm wearing them all day uh-huh. and i'm in the middle of talking and talking and talking you know what happens ah, this, is, <laughs> this is hurting so bad we have to take these off uh well i i have not been as um big on wearing jewelry, I guess, as uh, I used to be, but I, I, you know, one of the things that I wore in one of the photo shoots that I didn't think would work at all. And I just was wearing it because it was cold outside was this little white jacket. And it was a zip up white jacket, very similar to what I ended up wearing the other day, but just plain white. And they go, what do you have? And I go, well, I have this. I go, oh, I don't think white's going to work. And I go, okay, well, and I was going to go to something else. But they go, well, just put it on. Let's see. And it turned out my favorite of all the videos. It turned, the white looked great. <laughs> was it, okay. So the question is, was it white, uh, white or cream? Right. It was but, but, not but, bright white, but it was not super creamy. In the past, with the nature of what the um, cameras were like, you could get away with cream white. Yeah. So the anchors would all wear cream white Mm -hmm. shirts, the male anchors. Oh, I see. And and it came out beautifully. But if they had sharp white white, then they could not. Yeah, just had a little more cream. Just blanched out Uh their faces.